Latin is just one of the toxic foods the rainforest people from the north actually do eat. The interest is always there about recording that knowledge. But so there's kind of four key processes, I guess. Uh, one is, you know, you've got to know what the black bean is. This one here with the big pods and the seeds. All right, so we've got one here. So if we can just get everyone to just grab at least one bean and put it in the basket, this is sort of like a test to see that you understand what the beans are. And then the second phase is um, putting the seeds you've collected in this camp oven here. So I guess we started with laying down the ginger, ginger leaves, the native ginger, put all the black beans down, put the pay bark on top and then put the coal back on. They should be in the camp oven for half a day or a day or something, just let them cook. And it's much easier to get the peel off once they've been a bit roasted. You know, people had stone axes, and then as soon as there was a metal axe, people use a metal axe because it makes your work easier. And the culture is more the practice than the technology. The third stage is putting them in the river, and, and then they have to be leached for like three, four days, you know, depending on the water current and how much beans you got. So you've got to make sure you get all the poison out of them because they're poisonous. If you eat them without processing them, they make you sick. So we've had these sitting in the creek for the last four or five days. As you can see, it's been pounded a bit. Once she's nice and mashed, we pat it into a damper and then we put it on the coals. Boogum is the word we use for the black bean. We've got some dampers already cooking here. Let's make some room. 10, 15 minutes and that should be done then. Really got no taste. That's why you need that honey on top. Mm, no, actually taste yeah. is really good. You reckon you could live off this in the bush? 